reminder for the proud elites in our ranks. We are not religious zealots like the Covenant, so you can cut the self-aggrandizing hooey, okay? Stick to wart wart warning or whatever the heck it is you say. Hey, elites, I got new official terminology guidance for you. No more of this demon crap. Spartans are just humans in an admittedly cool-looking fusion-powered wrapper. Good day, UNSC! It's your old pal Clip Dub, banished communications officer slash propaganda overlord. And it's another great day of hunting you down like wild animals on Santa Halo. Keep your comms tuned to this frequency for the latest updates on your dead comrades, your dwindling hopes, and your greatest failures. Don't go thinking that the Spartan killers are just going to sit on their hands once the chief is dead. They'll just have to settle for, you know, lesser quarry. That means you, boots on the ground. Latest reports from the field indicate that two more human squads have been annihilated. Great work annihilating, Banish. Great work dying, humans. Who says we can't work together? We've been killing humans up and down this galaxy for a long time. And we're gonna keep killing humans till we're all as gray as Escherum. This is our job, and we are really good at it. I got some celebratory news, gang. Our favorite excavation site lead, the mighty Bassus, has been, uh, promoted. He's going to work in an undisclosed location where he'll be, uh, quite alive and in no way dead. Congratulations, Bassus. Got some bad news for you humans. That hero of yours... He's palling around with a copy of Cortana. Yeah, yeah, that Cortana. You know, the one that turned against humanity. Think he's still on your side? Think he won't bail on you for his stupid blue lady? You're wrong. After six long months of war, aren't you tired? Don't your feet hurt from day after day of trudging across this ring? Aren't you tired of watching your friends get vaporized before your eyes? Of course you are. It's time to give up, human. If not for your dignity's sake, then for your aching feet and your shattered spirit. Banished comrades, this is happening because you stupid jerks aren't fighting hard enough. Where's that fire, that, that moxie? You better find it or the war chief will kill you deader than he's gonna kill the Spartan. Attention, human soldiers stationed at base Delta Bravo Turnip Fruit. Your team may have won, but your brother is still dead. I know this because I'm sitting on his legs and they're finally starting to smell good. The Chief's back. So what? We beat him before. What's different this time? The grapple hook? Oh, sure. That'll end the war. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, we got tired of piling up all your decrepit warthogs as towering monuments to your failure. So, we found a better use for them. The Forge of Tish is melting them down for scrap, and the Armory of Reckoning is turning that scrap into bullets. So, next time you get shot, know that you humans played a vital role in making that possible. Attention, humans! I regret to inform you that everything you've seen, heard, and experienced in the past 24 hours of this war was entirely imaginary. Here, in the real world, your goose remains utterly, totally cooked. This is verifiably, demonstrably true. Please believe me. Attention, humans! You're all stunningly, blindingly stupid. That's all. Carry on. Ah, I'm just, I'm so, I, I can't, okay? Just find the Spartan, kill the Spartan. This isn't funny anymore. We're watching every hour of every day. And the only reason you're still alive is because it's fun as heck to watch you struggle for every moment of your continued existence. It's like, uh, what do you humans call it? TV. It's a lot like TV. And your suffering is our favorite show. I thought I'd pretty much plumb the depths of my hatred of humans, but then I had a supremely crappy day, and oh, what's this? All the way at the bottom of my heart, even more hatred for humans. 
He was there the whole time. I hate you so much. I yearn for your extinction. Listen up, pukes. A spire has fallen. So what? We've got tons of those things all over the ring, making this weapon whole again. And making good progress, too. That power belongs to the banished. And one spire ain't gonna make a bit of difference. You hear me? If you're smelling something funny on the air, that would be the huge pile of seized human provisions, medical supplies, personal effects, armor, and food we just torched. You didn't need all that crap, right? How much does it hurt, knowing how hard you failed? All the lives lost due to your incompetence. I bet it keeps you up at night. I bet it gnaws at your guts. And it should. He's just one guy. One guy! When has one guy ever made a difference? Besides, you know, uh, all the times he... Uh, never mind. Shut up. Abandon all hope, etc. You think all this resistance is helping? You're only making us mad. And that's only gonna make it hurt more when we finally get our angry mitts on you. You think I'm joking? Screw around and find out. In claiming Zeta Halo, the Banished have done what the Covenant couldn't. That's right, the Covenant, which time after time pushed you idiots to the brink of extinction, are nothing compared to us. We're like nothing you've ever seen. Hey, Chief, if you're listening and you're thinking about taking down another tower, wait, okay? <laughs> just, just wait for, for a sec, because if you take all these towers out, I'm out of a job. And, and if I'm no use to whatever Harry so-and-so takes over for Eshram, I'm, I'm dead. Where I stand, <laughs> you wouldn't want that to happen, right, pal? Right? You humans have heard of Jaga Erdemni, right? The elitist elite in the Banished? The middle finger of the hand of Atriox? Well, he's out on the prowl at this very moment, doing what he does best. So, forget about sleeping, relaxing, or doing anything that ain't looking over your shoulder. Hey! Anybody watch us shoot that ratty old pelican out of the sky? I'm delighted to report that the Master Chief died in the crash like a weak little stooge. A job well done, Banished. Man, am I depressed. But hey, just because we lost Eshram, Hyperius, Tavares, Tremonius, Jaga, the Harbinger, a bunch of chieftains, scores of lieutenants, tons of our greatest warriors, most of our best hardware, and almost all of our food reserves doesn't mean... Wait, what was I talking about? Man, I'm depressed. Okay, humans, hear me out. What if we were to try and work together? Your guns, my gas. We'd be unstoppable. I have three words for you. Og, Mented, Ungoy. A little update from Banished R&D. Not only does this ring belong to us, our sciency types are learning all kinds of neat stuff about it over at Annex Ridge. We wield the biggest, nastiest gun in the universe. And soon, we might just learn how to shoot the dang thing. Glory to the banished! So, how are all my banished comrades doing? Me? Oh, I'm great. Great! I broke into the vintage gas, told myself I'd save it for the moment where we incinerated Earth, but you know, <laughs> plans change! <laughs> you're sitting there asking, why me? Remember that you came to set a halo looking for a fight. All we did was give you one. I don't know who needs to hear it, but Ungoy has the best names. Yip Yap, Flip Yap, Pone Flip, Jip Lick, Sip Sack. I mean, come on, how great are those? You think you've won. You think you've won? You ain't won squat. We'll fight until the last of us is ground into paste. That being said, I hear you humans got a thing for clemency and forgiveness. So, if you're doling any of that out, just give me a holler.
We've been skinning your sorry behinds and wearing them as hats for months. But sure, go ahead and celebrate your big win over one war chief and his weirdo friend. Ain't gonna bring back all your dead friends, is it? Hey, ah, uh, if anybody knows the Battle.net Wi-Fi password, I would be eternally grateful. That is all. Uh, uh, gosh, it's been a long day. Ah, watching you pathetic nerds beg for your lives. Woo, I'm beat. What are you UNSC dorks up to? Ah, running and screaming. Ah, thought so. Just another day in paradise, huh? Attention, all UNSC troops. Just wanted you to know that the unspoiled rations you miraculously discovered last week were given some extra special seasonings by my good pal, Jiflick. Hope they were tasty. Listen up, humans. Got any friends in Gila Squad? You're gonna wanna check up on them. Or what's left of them, anyway. We left them in a nice big crater. Hey, you know who I don't miss? Bassus. <laughs> he sure was a big, dumb animal, wasn't he? Like the rest of you brutes. Yeah, I said it. You think I'm scared of you? You just lost the war. Reminder, resistance is hazardous to your health because it makes us really, really angry. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it'll be if we get taken down by one Spartan? We'd be no better than the Covenant. If that doesn't light a fire under you banished, nothing will. Fun fact, Chief rhymes with grief. I don't really have anything to add to that, but, you know, it sure makes you think, right? It's, um, another beautiful day on set of Halo. Sun shining, bird things are bird thinging, and the banished are totally, completely, absolutely going to... Uh, forget it. We're not so different, are we? Heck, in another place, another time, I would have been your daddy. If you humans are praying for the moment that backup finally arrives, remember, since Zeta Halo warped, they have no idea where to even start looking for you. You're alone, and you're gonna stay that way. Ah, this sucks. You weren't supposed to get this far, humans. Ah, can we give Yap Yap a chance now? Attention, banished warriors. The humans killed the fake Eshram body double monkey clone we left out for them to find. Activate surprise trap attack now. I'm serious. Why can't we kill the chief? It's like he's psychic or something. Wait, I got it. We just gotta plug the controller into player two. Well, what the hell do you mean there's no plug? Attention, Corporal Leah Rodriguez of Bluebell Squad. We intercepted your transmission back to Earth, and we agree. You have very little chance of seeing your home again. But we sure did appreciate all that whining and crying you were doing. <laughs> Keep it up. Oh, boy. Just imagine all that worthless human culture and industry that'll go up in flames when we activate this ring. It'll be like you never existed at all. And there'll be nobody alive to mourn the loss. Anyway, have a great day. Why aren't you losers furious with the Master Chief? Why put your trust in a guy that blew it so badly? All that misery you've endured, you can lay it all right at his feet. Someone out there is vandalizing my communication towers. Why would you do such a thing? Why would you want to spoil this oh-so-special relationship we've built over these six months? I want you to know, I'm hurt. Now knock it off. So, the one good thing about humans thinking you won the battle is that more of you will think it's safe to come out of hiding. And then when you do, bang, your head goes pop and the children cheer. Hey, Spartan, look, I know you think you've won and all, but, uh, joke's on you. That wasn't Eshram. That was four grunts in a brute suit. So yeah, we're still king of the ring. To all humans looking forward to being interrogated to death, 
I regret to report that the tower is closed for renovations by order of Commander Chakwok, who is 100% alive. But don't worry, we'll be happy to make other arrangements to send you to whatever uh, stupid afterlife you believe in. Or, absent that, the inky abyss. Hey, soft skins. I know you're probably thinking of all your friends back home, so we just wanted to let you know that we transmitted a bunch of messages back to all your buddies on Earth, and we told them you were all dead. Dead and smelly. Everyone, including your buddies, had themselves a real hearty chuckle. To our human friends still clinging to life on this ring, we know where you are, we know how to find you, and we'll destroy every last one of you. So. It's time to get your affairs in order. I'm not sure what affairs you have left other than uh, hiding in caves and eating moss, but, you know, get it sorted. If there are any humans still out there, just know that it makes us happy you're still alive. It means we can still enjoy killing you. Duly noted. Attention banished. We've received reports of a squad of humans sheltering in Sector E3. You know what to do. That means go kill them. <laughs> they bought it. I was kind of sort of lying about Bastus retiring. The truth is, he's dead. Tremonius too. And Hyperius and Tavaris. Doesn't that boil your blood? Are you really going to let the Spartan get away with that? Because if you do, you might be next. There's no way we lose to a guy who can't get over his smartwatch deciding that she could do better running the galaxy on her own. Give it up, humans. Do you know how many of you have died since the infinity? No need to check the mass graves. I got the numbers right here. It's a metric crap load, and it's growing by the hour. Hey, Spartan, you listening? How long do you think that luck of yours is going to last? It's gonna run out, and when it does, you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay big. <laughs> I know, I know the mic is on, and I don't care. <laughs> when this is all over, and the last of you are finally dead, I'm sure gonna miss this job. We had a lot of fun together. You running and screaming and me laughing at your agony. <laughs> it's been great. Thanks for being a part of it. Hey, we got a Craig out there? I keep hearing about some loser named Craig. Why the heck do you get all the attention? We're just as cool, if not way cooler. Attention, all remaining banished forces. We need fresh blood, so we're kicking off a recruitment drive. Call up your buddies and sign them up. Just, uh, just don't tell them about our recent, uh, setbacks. Please be aware that we've noticed your big birdie dropship flying around here recently, and our A-guns are very excited about picking just the right moment to shoot it down. We won't lose. We can't lose. This ring is ours. Anybody who says different is lying. Now throw down your weapons and give up this stupid fight! Good news, doomed humans! Our primary communications array, the Horn of Abolition, just got a big upgrade! We can hear every transmission you send, every whiny report of your casualties, every pathetic cry for help. Key takeaways, you're making it easier to find you, and your voices sound real stupid. Mighty Escherums finally had enough of what's left of you idiots. He's dispatching patrols around the clock. Search parties crawling over every inch of the ring. The hunt begins. Better start running. Banished forces just got word that we've lost several of those human-built forward operating bases. No big deal, you say. They smell bad anyway. But losing any ground to the humans brings shame upon us all. So don't lose another one. To all the banished that keep asking us, no, we have no idea what the skimmers are, and yes, 
Yes, we probably should, but they're on our side and are pretty good at killing humans, so who cares? Now stop asking. Feeling emboldened by the return of your hero, humans? Great! We can't wait to see that hope drain from your eyes right before you breathe your last. We hunted every last Spartan down, strung them up by their guts, and whacked the crap out of them with clubs in honor of that most sacred human tradition, the piñata. And if all the Spartans are dead, what chance do you think you stand? That's right, less than zero. I've been training my whole life to be the very best at demoralizing the hell out of you humans. I even majored in annoyance and vexation at the academy. So, trust me, if you're looking for reasons to give up, you're in good hands. Humanity sucks! The banished rules! You slug muffins will never have control of this ring, no matter how many of our leaders you slaughter. Keep fighting, banished! I quote the mighty Atriox. Humans are dumb and weak. If you lose to them, I'll come back from the dead and kill you myself. End quote. Yeah, okay, fine. So there's one Spartan left. One. You think one Spartan is going to make a difference? Let's ask the other Spartans on this ring. Oh, wait. We can't. They're dead. And they're dead because one Spartan doesn't change squat. This war is won. And you, all of you, have lost. All banished forces. Any intel on the whereabouts of the Master Chief will be rewarded handsomely, followed by intense questioning as to why you didn't do anything about it. If you've got something to report, send it up the chain, or else. Hey, Master Chief, you out there? Or are you cowering in a cave like what's left of your idiot species on this ring? You already failed once, and it cost your kind everything. You really want to go for round two? Attention, banished troops. Please observe a ceasefire for the next hour or so. The grip ball matches on, and I do love watching humans smash each other. Hey, banished, listen up. Just because we won this war doesn't mean you can kick back and relax. There's lots of work to do. Humans to hunt, ancient technology to unearth. No slouching. It's been something like six months since you morons got here. That's a long time. Like, your families have all moved on kind of time. Uh, food for thought. Ah, uh, okay. For the last time. Jackals, you will be paid when the job is done. And last I checked, there's still humans alive on this rig. So, the job's not done. Get back to work. You know, I heard that demons don't even exist. It's just a myth my nipple coach made up to try and scare us out of sniffing the good gas. Hey, Chief, if you're listening, and you're thinking about taking down another tower, wait, okay? Just, just, just wait for a sec, because if you take all these towers out, I'm out of a job. And if I'm no use to Eshram, I'm, I'm definitely dead. You wouldn't want that to happen, right? <laughs> Pal, right? Local units are uh, happy to report that Eshram successfully killed the Spartan. He's deader than the prophet of sacrilege, or whatever he was called. Anyway, carry on. Nothing to worry about. I know that Eshram wants a nice big legendary fight to top off a proud career, but I think he'd also appreciate it if you morons would get your acts together and kill the Master Chief. If it wasn't clear yet how utterly, bafflingly doomed you all are, it sure will be soon. Our control of this ring is absolute and getting absoluter every hour. It's time to lay down those weapons, friends. You losers are sure making it difficult to stay positive. Every day the Master Chief survives makes us look even more incompetent. End this now! So, is Spartan Palmer still dating that one Sanghila? Oh, was that supposed to be a secret? A few days of chaos ain't changing a damn thing, humans. You're all still doomed, we're still winning, 
and in the very, very, very near future, we're locking this ring down for the banished. Fun fact for all the ungoy out there. Did you know that humans are an excellent source of methane? It's true. Just, just don't ask me how to get at it, okay? Ah, uh, it's you. Oh, thank goodness you heard my messages. I, I was worried you would think I was serious. It wasn't secretly. I I'm coding cries for help and rescue. You, you believe me, right? Ask the Arbiter. He'll vouch for me. I promise. Please, please, P please believe me. Hey, what the heck is that noise? The Brutes cleared out a cave and found one of your diaries. I got notes. First, all your whining about your dumb regrets in the face of certain death. Uh, cliche. Try harder. Second, your handwriting, it makes you look weak. And third, nobody but me will ever read it. So, 100% of your audience is laughing at your pain. Ah, boy, howdy. It's been a long six months of killing humans on this ring. But if you think we're tired of it, you sure don't know the banished. Because if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And we love killing humans. Just like brutes love eating them. And killing them. You knuckleheads act like the banished have never been on the ropes before. We've overcome a lot. And we ain't going anywhere. Orders from the war chief. Anybody caught looking, even kind of morose, will be slingshot into space. So, turn those frowns upside down or be killed. Latest reports from the war front. Tons of you died like sniveling cowards, and tons of us stood over your corpses and gloated about it. Just another day in paradise. The end is near. He talked too much. Does anyone remember which halo this one is? Six or seven? I honestly can't keep track of it all. Anyway, here's some Gregorian chanting. Breaking news. We found the Master Chief. Captured him, peeled the armor from his stupid bones, and killed him dead. His last words were... Hang on, let me check, check my notes here. <clears throat> All hope is lost. Humanity is doomed. Lay down your weapons. I am Master Chief. Whew! Harrowing words. You should listen to him. You know this ring is special, right? You want to know what it can do? Because we're gonna show you, and every stupid human you've ever known. Here is a poem for the Master Chief. Your blood is red, your teammates blue, your parents don't remember you. The end. You must think this is just some big dumb game, huh? Just because you blew up our battleship and gave us a bunch of trouble? Ha! <laughs> You're the one that's gonna be sorry, Spartan. Listen, you're fools to pin your hopes on the Master Chief. The guy's a mess. He's got a habit of solving every problem he meets with violence, and while that's pretty cool, it's not the mark of a stable mind. And neither is mumbling at little blue people that live in your head. But pick a better hero. I nominate me. Attention, scattered remnants of the UNSC. Look to your left. Now look to your right. Anybody missing? There's a good chance that your absent comrades have been taken to the redoubt of Sundering and are being brutally interrogated as we speak. Imagine the secrets spilling out of them. Not to mention all the other stuff. I'm just tickled to report that Spartan Hudson Griffin notorious idiot human baby expired at the tower. But before he died, he gave up all your locations in a last-ditch attempt for clemency. You feeling safe, humans? You feeling secure? He sold you out. All of those stupid fobs are now back in UNSC hands. Just letting you know, when Eshram finds out and goes berserk, this is on you. And by you, 
I mean everybody who isn't me. That Spartan Locke sure did know how to get ahead, which is why Hyperius used his helmet as arm decoration. <laughs> Gallows humor. Uh, humans, just curious, but how much is the UNSC paying you to fight us? I'm hoping it's a lot, because otherwise, somebody's getting a really raw deal. And hint, it ain't us. So, so wait a minute. I just found out that the Master Chief's name is John. John? John? We're afraid of a guy named John? Are you kidding me? Attention, humans. Hope is brain poison. Remember that the next time you get excited about seeing another sunrise. Don't forget about those odds. Dwindling every day. If anybody's looking for a Spartan Theodore Sorel, take a peek in the conservatory and see for yourself what happens when you go up against not one, but two Spartan killers. It ain't pretty. The Banished is more than just a collection of unstoppable heroes. We got allies. Important, powerful allies. And if you thought these last six months were bad, huh, what comes next, it's gonna blow your minds out of your stupid heads. Okay, okay, you beat us. But did you do it on Legendary? Ha! The following is a friendly reminder from Banished Food Services. Dead enemies aren't just fun to play with, they're also highly nutritious. Hmm. Spartan candy, a special treat. Crack open their armor and eat, eat, eat. Be advised, humans, that we've detected a functioning pelican zooming about the ring, and our AA guns are very excited about shooting it down. The last Spartan is dead, and he died like a sniveling coward. His last wish was that you would all just give up to stop prolonging what is, by now, an absolute certainty. Why not honor him by turning yourself in? What you got left in the tank, human? Did you run it on fumes? How much longer do you think you can go? Uh, if you haven't heard, your old home away from home, that ratty ship, the mortal reverie, is now a banished stronghold. We scrubbed the stink off the walls and threw out most of your stuff. So, if you're looking for a lost knick-knack or misplaced comrade, check the pile of burning garbage. Can't miss it. Man, I hate that song. This just in. The humans are extremely excited that they've conquered some tiny insignificant island when us banished have all the rest of the ring to ourselves. Congratulations, losers. You did it. Ah, this sucks. This wasn't supposed to happen. We had this in the bag. What happened? Who do we blame? I'm thinking we start with Bip Bap. Great job with all that vanquishing. You failure of an ungoy. Look, I'll just say it. Esherum was going to keel over any second anyway. Sure, Chief did him in, but come on, that's like beating your grandpa to death, which, while admirable, is something anybody could do. Uh, regrettable news, it appears the top ranks of banished warriors has, uh, thinned considerably. You may recall my thanking you humans for culling our dead weight. I now wish to retract that statement. Stop culling our dead weight, okay? No more culling. Ah, oh, man, we should have split off from the Covenant a long time ago. It's way more fun doing the yelling instead of being yelled at all the time. I sure wish we didn't bring the kick yard with us, though. They're the worst. Hey, Chief, you see Jega's latest handiwork in the conservatory? A certain Spartan Makovich left in a big, dead heap. A shame you weren't around to do anything about it. <laughs> Attention, Barracuda Squad. Barracuda Squad? That's a stupid name. Just want you to know that we still got your commander. I mean, he's dead, but we do still have him. And he's a lot of fun. If any 
anyone has a spare Xbox controller, I accidentally broke mine. And also, if anyone has a spare Xbox, I would be interested in that as well. We ain't licked yet. We just need a new leader. Any takers? I'm not going to volunteer for the job, but if I was nominated, well, I'd consider it. Just saying. Attention. Attention, human private Eleanor Klein. Please come and pick up this picture of your dumb kids from the nearest outpost. I'm guessing it's uh, pretty important, and... Wait. Wait, wait, I'm being told that we plucked it off your dead body, so never mind. Carry on, humans. Two of our greatest Spartan killers, Hyperius and Tavares, were recently spotted kicking the ever-loving snot out of the Master Chief. The carnage, it was so vicious that we're, uh, not exactly sure what happened, but one thing's for sure, the Chief is dead. So, everybody should give up. Now, there's not many of you left on this ring, but don't worry. These little pep talks from yours truly will continue until every last one of you is dead. That's a glib nub guarantee. I'm here for you till the very end. Man, I sure miss the days when we were M-rated. If we still were, I could tell you all about how big of a gosh darn frickin' frack so-and-so you are. Bleep! Attention, humans. I was just going back through some dog tags plucked off your dead comrades, and I gotta say, human names are just the dumbest sounding names in the galaxy. Easterling, McDonough, Lindy, Crocker, where'd you come up with that stupid crap? Go back in time and tell your parents to try harder. He's still alive. How is he still alive? No more excuses. No more failures. Get it done. Spartan, don't look now, but three cloaked deletes are behind you. Have fun dying. <laughs> Made you look. Ah. Hey, uh, while I got your attention, do you need a sidekick or something? I'm available. To the three Ungoy sleeping on the job at the Forge of Tish. Wake up! You're gonna give our kind a bad name. Well, a worse name anyway. I'm actually starting to feel sorry for the big green dork. I mean, he got his ass kicked in front of everybody. Most of his friends are dead. His own pets hate him. I don't know if he has pets, but if he does, they definitely hate him. And most tragic of all, his worst days and his greatest failures are still ahead of him. Look, we all said some stuff we didn't mean. You know, about slaughtering humans and the like. But there's no reason to take it out on every uh, more or less innocent grunt you come across, okay? <laughs> just, just remember that. Be propaganda minister for the banished, they said. You'll get to yell mean stuff at humans all day, they said. I'm told that half my comm towers are now down. In lieu of threatening the war criminal responsible for this war crime, here's an important question. What do you think your bones look like without all that skin and organs and crap hanging off them? Keep messing around and find out. Ah, uh, I hate this. We were supposed to win, not you. You always get to win. Remember the first space ring? The Spartan blows it up, you win. Then the big flowery space base? You win. Ancient warrior mummy in the hollowed out planet thing? You win again. Ah, uh, so stupid. Welcome to day 160. No, wait, 70? Ah, well, somewhere around month six of your miserable existence on Senna Halo. Honestly, who knows how long it's been anymore. Time flies when you're having fun, and slaughtering humans is about as fun as it gets. Dear friends and colleagues of PFC Theodore Higgins, the idiot who gallivanted his way into the Horn of Abolition several days ago, we captured old Teddy, beat the tar out of him, and sent him packing to the tower for processing and interrogation. If you'd like to see him again, please report to the tower. Jacklock would be more than happy to welcome slash torture you. You humans think the chief is here for you? Please! Since when has he cared about anything except his stupid blue pal? He got what he came for. Don't be surprised when he abandons you. So, 
you may have heard that we've lost a number of senior officers lately. And while, well, yes, there are some vacancies opening up among the Blood Stars, it's only because those guys were dumb and weak, while our remaining guys are most certainly not dumb and weak. Thanks for calling our dead weight, humans. This one time, I saw a brute punch a human so hard, the human exploded. I laughed till I threw up. That is all. Well, now you've gone and done it, humans. Just got a report from Esherim, and he is not happy with you. Not that there's anything wrong on our end, though. Everything's fine. We're winning. We've already won. Believe me, or die. When I was a larva in the tide pools of Palaho, my dear mother wrapped me in her pleopods and said, Glim up, grow up, and make me proud. <laughs> well, here I am, the disembodied source of existential torment for thousands of doomed morons. <laughs> I love you, Mom. <laughs> If your Dr. Halsey was so smart, why'd she have to get a bunch of kids to do her dirty work, huh? And people call us the bad guys? Ah, why did I tell you about those stupid bobs? I distinctly remember telling you to defend them. But the humans keep taking them back. What, do you, do you want them to win? The banished are within reach of total victory, humans. Our time together will soon come to an end. But we'll make sure to etch try their best on humanity's tombstone right before we launch it into the nearest sun. I don't think Esherim has a clue what I'm doing on this radio. If he did, he'd probably boot my ass into space. A good thing he's old and practically deaf. You may have heard rumors of a Spartan emerging from the bowels of the ring. Those rumors are entirely false. Spartans are extinct thanks to the hand of Atriox, so stop spreading human lies. Banished forces, you bored out of your skulls with no humans to tear to pieces? Well, just you wait. Once we're done here, we got a whole galaxy to conquer. Imagine all the weird crap you'll be fighting. Keep that morale up, up, up. All of those stupid fobs are now back in UNSC hands. Just letting you know, when management finds out, whoever the hell that ends up being, and goes berserk, this is on you. And by you, I mean everybody who isn't me. If anyone is wondering what the smell is coming from Sector G10, it's dead human. Awful, isn't it? Like, a, like ham and mayonnaise on a hot day. Blah. Hey, humans, got some advice for you. That nobody gets left behind stuff, it's got to get you killed. Take Merchant Squad, for example. We caught three of them, so the other eight decided to be heroes. Guess what happened? That's right, 11 dead idiots. Be smart. Save yourselves. Ah, uh, we're picking up a lot of you humans blathering on the comms about how it's all gonna turn around at the last minute just because some big green nobody finally came out of hiding. That's great! Keep those hopes up. It'll be funnier when we crush them. Oh, I got it. Turn the console off right now. Do it. If you don't, uh, uh, you'll ruin your eyes playing so close to the TV. Think about your health. If you're looking for Riddle Squad, we've got them all tied up in an undisclosed bunker. Hey, uh, speaking of riddles, I, I got a good one for you. A hunter is dropped into an undisclosed bunker stuffed with human prisoners. Who gets that alive? The answer is the hunter. I'm not great at riddles, I'll admit that. <laughs> this can't be happening. We, we trained so hard. I... I yelled so much stuff. We, we can't lose. It, it's not over. Let's, let's dig up a new war chief and, and get back to it. Oh, we are the baddest. <laughs> I don't want to hear 
What more of you stupid humans crowing about the Master Chief? Atriox defeated him with a flick of his wrist. How much of a fight do you think he's gonna put up this time around? In conclusion, hope is a meaningless waste of time. And if you want proof of that, ask all your dead pals. Hey, Chief, where's Blue Team? Don't you know? Pretty cold just leaving your siblings behind like that. I don't know, I'll tell you, Fub Flop. I got some real big doubts. That Master Chief, he keeps winning. Our forces keep dying, and Eshram's still going on about victory this, brotherhood that, blue hoo hoo, Atriox is dead like he's, you know. Wait, what? You mean the Micasan? By our count, human casualties, injuries, and capitulations are skyrocketing. One of my math guys crunched the numbers, and at the current rate, a human dies on this ring every eight minutes. Tick tock, humans, when's your number coming up? The higher-ups asked me for new ways to psychologically torture you humans. So, I thought I'd try this. <laughs> How's that working for you? You want to die yet? <laughs> How about now? I was just watching footage of one of you idiot humans eating a poisonous plant and barfing all over the place. Weak stomachs lose wars, you know. Homesick Marine? Throw down that gun and report to the nearest banished camp. We'll send you back to your friends and family in a convenient little box. Thinking about the other humans back on Earth? Well, I wouldn't worry. We're not far away now from activating this ring, and once we do, the worries, hopes, dreams, stupid shoes, and idiot haircuts of humans everywhere in the galaxy will come to a decisive and hilarious end. <laughs> I just saw one of you idiots get crushed by a brute drunk pod, and it, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> humans do not want control of this ring. There's all kinds of overhead and upkeep, weird critters crawling around inside, and the... Well, that's classified, but believe me, it sucks. This next song goes out to the surviving members of Vantage Squad. Wait, what? There aren't any? Okay, so a sad song then. Then, hey, 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 anybody got a trombone? You know, so we can do the womp womp thing? No? No? Ah, song's canceled. Listen up, Banished. We got one job, and that's keeping that friggin' Spartan away from the silent auditorium. No whining, no excuses. Get it done, or you answer to me. I mean, Eshram. Hey, now that your entire chain of command is dead, who's giving you Marines orders anyhow? You just making it up as you go along? Because that would explain a lot. Look, I don't know who moved this big old death hoop, but if you could please put it back where it belongs, that'd be great. I can't order deliveries from premium gas vendors if I don't know my own friggin' address. What the heck am I supposed to tell them? I live somewhere? The first humans who volunteer actionable intel on the whereabouts of the Master Chief will earn themselves a VIP induction into the Banished, and a guarantee of survival for, uh, I don't know, at least a couple of weeks. Come one, come all, sell out your big stupid hero and live. Look up in the sky, humans. See all those beautiful Banished ships hanging silently like guillotines over your heads? We're not going anywhere. Zeta Halo is now our home. All banished forces, remember, Spartans are just like any humans, vulnerable to the same tricks. Sprinkle some potato chips and money outside their hidey holes and watch them come running. Then, shoot them. Friendly reminder to all the banished listening out there on Zeta Halo. We won this war and nothing's changing that. Certainly not the completely hypothetical return of a certain Spartan. You ever wonder what a shaved brute looks like? Not until I mentioned it, right? Try and get that image out of your head, humans. Quibna.
job here. Band up and major to report. Just taking some me time to reflect on how hopeless and screwed you are. <sighs> ah, yeah, that's nice. You killed them. All of them. All the best and brightest of the banished. Even <gasps> gentle Brinkward and <laughs> sweet, sweet Bip-Bap. I hope you're satisfied, Master Chief. <laughs> you stupid walking apocalypse. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of complaints from my fellow Ungoy out there about rough treatment from your brute superiors. To you, my friends, I say this. <laughs> Better you than me, losers. All forces, we got two loose prisoners in Sector F7. One of them has a broken leg. That means the first banished trooper who finds them gets to break uh, three legs. You feel that banished? That's what it feels like to have your destiny in your own hands. Screw the covenant. Screw humanity. Now we're running the show. We came to this ring to stop Cortana, something you humans just couldn't seem to pull off. But we shut her down. You think you stand a chance against us? Ah! Remember when the Infinity came to set a halo just to get ambushed and crushed by us banished? <laughs> that was a nasty surprise, wasn't it? Just goes to show you, we're always one step ahead. Always. Don't relax yet, humans. We're not going anywhere. And we've got plenty more hardware up in orbit that we can drop on your useless heads at any time. Please continue to stare at the sky, gripped by fear of the unknown. You think the Spartans are going to save you? Think again. They're dead. All of them. Every one of those towering dorks that set foot on this ring has been eliminated. There's no cavalry riding in, humans. No savior waiting in the wings. Just attrition, followed by submission, followed by... Yep, you guessed it. Death. At the sound of the tone, all humans on the ring will lay down their arms and give up. Ding! Did it work? I said ding, you idiot! Feeling down, humans? Reflect on the last words of Sergeant Kevin Mahoney. Stay back! Please, no. Oh, God. Someone help me. I don't want to die here. And then a bunch of screaming. You know, someone should make that an inspirational poster. A uh, question for you, Softskins. What are you even doing here? What did the UNSC ever do for you, except uh, throw you screaming into the gaping maw of death time after time? Is that leadership you can trust? Heck no. Join the banished. No humans have joined yet, but hey, first time for everything. Like Atriox said, we're not fighting for some stupid empire obsessed with a great journey. We're fighting for each other. A glorious brotherhood united against the rotten bastards who would have us die for their worthless causes. Stand proud, banished. We are free. Let's take a moment to reflect on all the things you'll never experience again. Warm beds, hot showers, regular meals, the affections of your friends and family, safety, and general happiness. All of it now a distant memory. In honor of fallen Spartans, Bonita Stone, Theodore Sorrell, and Vedrana Makovich, we offer the following song of heartfelt remembrance. <laughs> Look, banished. We all know this war is in the bag, but you know, just in case, maybe, maybe we should hurry the hell up and put a bow on it, okay? Now! Finish it now! Right now! Gosh, you brutes sure have a lot to be mad about. The Covenant, Cortana, Doisak. It's quite a list. So, go put those grievances to good use and share them with the nearest human. With your fists. Every 
everybody raise a glass for Private Michael Bach, the human genius who shot his own squad mate in the chaos of battle. Your contribution to the banished war effort is appreciated. Let's take a moment to remember Spartan Bonita Stone, who went snooping around where she shouldn't have been and got herself killed. Word is, Jega killed her in a single strike. Man, <laughs> I wish I had that on video.